Welcome back everybody. We're going to be unveiling what we have in tote 3 out of 7 totes on my $2,000 mix palette. Half returns and half shelf pulls. So let's get at her. Alright guys, makeup bag. Okay, shorts, pair of uh, men's shorts. Waterproof, uh, twin XL mattress protector. What else we have here? Breast milk bottle set. Okay. Halloween, Halloween. Uh -huh. Both the same. Don't know who this guy is supposed to be. If you know, comment below. Good, good. All right. Two for the price of one. Not sure what this is. I'm gonna have to say it's uh feels like that uh, heated vinyl. Clothes, lots of clothes. Like I said, you get these returns, you get a lot more clothes than you normally would. Extra large woman's extra large workout pants. Whew. Take that off. A little warm under there. I'm not sure. Scrubbing pad goes on a machine. More clothes, 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 clothes. Not a fan of these clothes, I'll tell you that. You know, it's hard to make your money back. Again, you get into this business, you know, hard to make your money back on clothes, unless they're like really high-end brand names. Uh, I mean, you're not getting much for that. It's new, it's nice, but again, it's a, uh, you know, it's a $5 item. You might get lucky, $10. Um, marketplace, low difficult. You might want to advertise that stuff on Poshmark. Again, close, 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 guys. This is, let's see here. Uh, you know, I don't know. This almost looks like a cosplay set. There's your mask. Here's some gloves. Costume of some sort. Okay, um, I'm almost gonna say if it's a costume, almost like a ladybug clock costume. Yeah, we'll have to dive into that a little bit deeper. But again, you know, to. You're not going to get very much for it at the end of the day. Okay. Finger paint. Paper pad. Here. Close, close. It looks like a woman's bra set to some extent yes that's what it is sports bras and I guess you can put that under there for uh, the smooth look selfie stick for your camera clothes 
extra extra large yeah extra extra large woman's tights spandex tights you know uh, I mean if you have a platform where, where you can sell most of this stuff it's not that bad but again your prices are limited I mean something like this would cost you in the store give or take anywhere from ten to thirty dollars uh, depending on the brand I guess you know obviously this is not Lululemon it would be a hundred dollars but if it's a thirty dollar product twenty five dollar product I mean you have to expect that uh, you know you might get you're, you're gonna get your five dollars regardless up to ten dollars and again it depends uh, what platform you're using but when you're when when you're buying two thousand dollar pallets you have to look at the whole and you have a lot of these products I mean five dollars five dollars ten dollars it takes a lot of items and a lot of time to get your money back and we're not in people in this business we're not in to get your money back you're actually in here trying to make a living so you need a profit if you're spending two Ideally, you'd like to you'd like to get four thousand, double your money. Unfortunately, they're hard to come by. Uh, I'm looking, uh, I'm seeing on on stuff like this, or even my shelf pose. I'm getting a lot of items. You might sell about 35, 40 percent of them. Then you're sitting on a lot of them. So again, it's hard to, to start making a profit, but the the products are there. So eventually, when they start selling, you could. You could probably on a two thousand dollars, you're making a thousand. The odd pallet, you might be making two thousand, but they could be uh, one in every every five or six pallets. So again, this is not for somebody that wants to get into this business, throw a couple thousand dollars out of your pocket, and expect, oh, I can make all this money. It just doesn't happen. But hey, if you're into it, you're interested in it, give it a try. Uh, clear skin pills. Have to check that out expiry date make sure uh, I can even sell them rock pros what pros let's see what do we have that are rock pros almost looks like uh, glasses of some sort let's see here it's a nice case regardless And you can switch out the frame. So they are glasses. I have to check out Rock Pro. Okay, so these are bicycle glasses. Nice. Again, check them out, see what the value is. Um, I've noticed uh, since COVID this whole summer, um, bicycle has been really taken off this year. There's a lot of people on their on their bikes, uh, I mean just not mountain bikes, but I'm talking like the 10 speeds where you have these uh, avid avid cyclers going along the highway and everything. Seems to have really came back in style. Oh no. Oh, okay. Um, candle holders. Get your glass candle, they go inside, low decoration. Something like that, again, housewares, they're uh, pretty easy sells. Again, not, not a lot of money, but it's one of those products that you can put on and, and get a few bucks back right away. You're generally not sitting too long on something like that. Okay, Surex, some kind of electronics. So let's see what we have here. Power supply tester, shorts, woman's block, cycling shorts, power your life, just an adapter, computers. Warning, 24 hour video surveillance, metal, good quality, anybody that needs that stuff. Hair cutting scissors. What do we have? What do we have? What kind of surprises do we have? H O five O O six. It's almost a, a skew for some headlights. I'm not sure though. What do we have here? Oh, the reality of this empty and. The box isn't even worth keeping. Okay, so 
so much for uh, that surprise. Again, it's garbage. You know what happens when we have something that's garbage that has the value of zero. Made in China. Isn't everything made in China? What do we have here, boys and girls? Okay, this is nice. This is what I was just mentioning a lot of people are doing recycling this year. I have to do some more homework on this. This is a carbon fiber for a bike. It's the seat post. It goes in and out. The reason it's made out of carbon fiber is for weight. So a lot of these fanatics, they have four or $5,000 bikes. Weight is a big issue. I can tell you without even looking it up, this is going to be worth at least a couple hundred dollars. So that's a good, good find. Uh, now the hard part is, in my area is trying to find a buyer for it now but again good fine carbon fiber seat post uh excellent a couple hundred dollars right there emf tester wow these are some serious uh combs my friends pins Hallmark. Bike tie. Bike tie goes on to your handlebars, which holds your cell phone. Okay. Nice little, I think they're like baby bra uh, br bracelets. I don't know if they're those ones that you can put in more charms on. Feels like a uh, really nice material, jade or something. we have a pet car seat. Okay, I've never seen one of these before. Pet car seat, it's actually a good idea. I have more of these. Oh, if you saw my other video, here's a, this I haven't figured out what it's for yet. This is part, might be part of my original snow brush I found in one of the totes. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Alright, it's a light of some sort, hangs outside. I have to dig into that, see what exactly what it is. We have another watch just randomly floating around. Uh, garbage. More clothing. What do we have here? I think it's, what is this? What is this? It's a shirt. It's actually a woman's shirt. It's one of those, I'm not, I'm not, don't know the correct name for it. It's one you're wearing a bathing suit or something and you throw that over, over top. What do you think, sweetie, eh? What do you think, Walada? Just one of those. Here. Harness, harness, harness. What kind of harness is this? What's it for? medium uh, if I'm not mistaken this is for uh, a rabbit or um, if you're into it I don't know but I think that's a rabbit harness I'll have to do a bit more research on that hearing amplifier Wow, okay, we'll see if the, see if that works. Power bank, always good to have. They're, you know, power banks are easy sells. Depending on the brand, sometimes they're worth uh, $15. Sometimes you can get $50 for them. Ventus 5 volt. This is a battery. I, I know this brand. That is actually a battery that, it, uh, what do you call it? Uh, heated jackets or heated vests for that right there. That's a good find, have to double check. I'm sure it all works. Um, not an issue there. Uh, just did some homework on these, trying to figure it out. They go for roughly about this brand here, the, the five volt. I'll have to check out uh, if it's 10,000 or 6,000. If it's a 10,000 ohms, it's, it's good for about $110. So that's a good find. What do we have? Smart socket. 
They're, they're easy sells. Put them in your home. Another smart socket. Not sure what we have. Okay, we have, by the things, earphones. Wired earphones. What, what is this little, what's this little gadget? AM, FM, two-band stereo radio. We'll check out that little guy. Hmm. Uh, uh, I really don't see that being much of a seller. Not too many people are walking around with AM, FM little gadgets anymore. Here. Okay, couplings. Uh, they almost look like they come off from an uh, air compressor of some sort. Again, it doesn't tell me what it's for. Um, might have to do some homework on that. See if I can salvage. These are expensive if you had to go buy them, but if I can't tell you what they're for, they're kind of hard to sell. Speed this up a little bit. Okay, this is life jacket where you put the arms through for the little kids. Get to the end there. Neoprene lunch bag. And don't know that brand. Let's see what we have here. Okay, again. Woman, woman's workouts, pants. Not a not a very uh, popular brand. So again, those might retail for anywhere from fifteen to twenty five dollars. So new, you're going to get your five ten dollars. Here, selfie stick tripod. Not going to bother taking it out. Okay, so here is a rat. So you know what? I think that's for a big rabbit. This one here is for a smaller rabbit because it is it is smaller, and I know it's for a rabbit because this is a small. That was a medium, and it says uh, rabbit goo on it. So that other one was for a rabbit, just a bigger one. This is for a smaller one. You know, hmm, funny. I don't know too many people that walk their rabbits, but I guess it's a thing. Nice, brand new sealed, not even, not a speck of dust on this or anything. Venquio, I don't know the brand, C751 headset, active noise cancelling, wireless, that's a good find, it's a really good find guys, you know, something like that. Have to do some work on those, find out if it's a $100 product or a $50 product. Uh, ink, garbage. Well, a lot of little stuff in this one. This tote, again, what do we have? Some kind of electronic. Uh, earphone, Bluetooth. So it's a Bluetooth mechanism. Take I'll have to take a, a real good visual look at that, see if it's been used. If it's been used, uh, generally, I don't sell used stuff that goes in your ears or anything like that. So we'll take a look. Sports. Let's see what we got. Okay, sports bra, workout bra, or, uh, well, yeah, there we go, that's what it is, that's one of those workout bras. Crystal guard, spin open, it's all mashed up, so again, that's garbage. What do we have, what do we have? Okay, okie dokie. What? I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's one of these. Uh, there you go. Not sure. Okay. Sandalwood essential oils. Cable again. Computer. 
I'll have to find out type C. They're a uh, dime a dozen. Not worth much. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I'm not sure. Focus wheel. I'm not sure. Hmm. Have to do some homework and find out exactly what that is. Hmm. Garbage, extra wire, not worth anything. Um, let's see what we have here. A lot of apparel, a lot of apparel. Okay. So these are ki oh, kids. Kids, babies, baby shorts. Cute little things. Set up, boom, go. Okay. Pulse tester goes goes around your arm. Makeup bag, have another one of those. Again, another piece of apparel. A lot of apparel. Oh, underwear. Woman's underwear, so we have one, two, three, four pair of woman's underwear. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, some part of a motorcycle. Clutch. Clutch for a motorcycle. And again, more apparel. Here we go. We have. Whoa. So we do have a pair of long shorts, men's shorts. Almost call them knickers, they're so long. We have, we're almost done here. A few things left. This is toe nail clippers. Nice fancy set. They generally don't go for a lot of money, but they're nice to have. And get these last couple products out of here. We have a book, the finders, screen protector, dime a dozen, can't get rid of them. Phone case, can't get rid of it. And let's see. Sports band for a watch, dime a dozen. And we have a gardening little kit. You know, the funny thing is, it's used. Somebody actually returned this because it looks like they had broken the handle. I mean, for what it's worth, really, keep it. You know, you have to go back and, and return something like this. Anyhow, that's it for tote number three. Uh, just giving you guys another look into the reality of what it's like buying a liquidation pallet. So we have a $2,000 pallet um, after... The second tote, we have roughly around $350 of total selling value. Uh, after this one, I'll, I'll, I'll calculate everything up here, find out what the value of this is worth, and when we go into the next one, I'll let you know. So from 2000 I have right now 350 plus whatever the value is here. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one.